All right, time for another uh, comic book review coming from, uh, once again, our uh, benefactor, uh, Chris, Mount Vernon Kid. Hope you're watching this, uh, my bro. And I'm going to be reviewing RoboCop Dead or Alive, Volume 1. This is the first volume uh, from Boom Studio, RoboCop's Boom Studios uh, series. And this is written by Joshua Williamson, who most of you guys would know best for currently writing The Flash. Yeah, most of you guys would know him best for uh, doing his Flash run right now. And uh, he also did a lot of image books like Nailbiter and what have you. We also have, once again, another Boom Studios book written with artwork by Carlos Magno. Um, so this comic takes place, I guess you could say, in the timeline between Robocops 2 and 3. Where, in this storyline, um, Robocop and, Detect and Officer Lewis, his partner, have essentially been tasked by OCP and the mayor to confiscate guns of the people of Detroit from, uh, pe you know, from certain people who have not registered their weaponry. And the person behind this is a guy named Killian, who it was a man who was locked up and now trying to take over uh, Detroit, uh, very in a political sense. So, I really dig this book. I really dug uh, this, this storyline. I really did enjoy this whole comic. I really liked it. Like, the moment the first line is, uh, I'd buy that for a dollar... Uh, the mo it feels like you go back to RoboCop. It really does feel like Joshua Williamson understands the character of RoboCop, and you can almost hear Peter Weller's voice in um, a lot of the dialogue. This isn't like out-of-control, crazy Frank Miller uh, RoboCop. It's not like that. It's more uh, like this is like what RoboCop 3 should have been. This is what really... That instead of that garbage we got in RoboCop 3, this is the RoboCop movie we should have gotten. This feels like the RoboCop movie we, uh, we as fans should have gotten. So what I like about it is, again, the artwork is great. Joshua Williamson is a great writer. He really knows how to do crime detective stuff, which, again, plays into uh, how he's been writing Flash and subsequently Batman with this, uh, this price, uh, the storyline called The Price, um, which has been really good. Um, I really do like how he writes the interpersonal relationship between... Um, both uh, Lewis and Murphy. I like I like how he's been writing that because L Lewis in this storyline is currently trying to basically uh, become a detective. She's trying to take on the detective's exam and she doesn't know how to tell Murphy because they've been partners well since Murphy became Robocop on the job. Um, so yeah, Murphy is um, Mur you know, uh, uh, Robocop is essentially like he doesn't know how to deal with this, but at the same time, he's supportive of Murphy. And, and I like that. I really do like how they play that out. Uh, Killian, as a, the, the storyline's villain, is really, you know, he's ruthless, he's tactical. Um, he's very much like a more refined Clarence Boddicker from the first movie. He's very much like a more, like a more refined uh, Clarence Boddicker. Um, which is cool. I really enjoy that. They even give reference to the first movie a lot. Um... Killian is a weapons dealer who's got something on the old man, the, aka the head of, o, of OCP, and he's got something on um, the mayor. So, and yeah, because it may, like throughout the, in the first time you, he's reintroduced, he's at, he's working with OCP and the mayor. But the next comic you see him basically trying to you know rile up all of Detroit into a war with the police, saying you know they're going to take our guns and what have you. And Murphy, you know, Lewis brings up this as like, isn't he supposed to be working with us? Why is he working against us? And why isn't, you know, the old man and the rest of OCP trying to stop him? So I like that, you know, they acknowledge that, yeah, he's probably got something big on the old man. He has definitely got something uh, big on the, on the old man or this wouldn't register. Um, this is also a pretty violent book. This, this comic is not watered down in by no stretch of the imagination. This is a comic that um, really like pushes with the gore, and Carlos Magno is really good with uh, doing violence. Obviously, you know, talking about his crossover with Planet of the Apes, his King Kong Planet of the Apes crossover, and recently his Deathmatch, you know, the artwork he did in, in the recent Boom Studios book, uh, Deathmatch. I'm surprised he's only been working with Boom, and I'm surprised he doesn't do artwork for... Uh, other uh, like other companies because he's really good. I think Carlos Magno is a really underrated artist. He's so vibrant 
Um, his colors are so vibrant, and he really knows how to draw gore. And like I said, this book is pretty freaking violent. This is a, you know, this book is not for the kiddies. This is for major RoboCop fans. This is for the major uh, fans of the franchise. And also, Neil Blomkamp, I know you're doing a new RoboCop film with Peter Weller. Uh, take notes from this movement, from this comic. Take notes from that. I have, I haven't read the Brian Wood book, uh, Citizens Arrest. So I don't know uh, if that comic's any good. I haven't read the Brian uh, Wood comic as of this recording. But yeah, I really want to read the next volume of Dead or Alive. I really want to read... Because I know it's like only three volumes long. Because it was a 12-issue maxi series. But yeah, I, I really want to get on to read uh, Dead or Alive's volume 2 and 3. Because this is for true RoboCop fans. This comic is for some major RoboCop fans. Which I am... Uh, in spades. I am totally in spades. Um, so, so I am totally all for uh, doing another review of this book because this was great. This is, um, there's some great gore in here. There's some great storytelling. The villain is excellent. Um, and it also looks like we're going to be dealing with some Ed 209s the next story arc. Um, where it leaves off is like, yeah, I want to see Robocop take on some more Ed 209s. Because they got, you know, they got kind of got the shit end of the stick in the second movie. Which, yeah, thankfully there's no, like, balls-to-the-wall insanity like that Frank Miller uh, uh, film in RoboCop 2. So, just, uh, just letting you know, there's no, it doesn't get overboard like RoboCop 2 did. It doesn't, it does not in any way, shape, or form go overboard. Um, uh, I will say that even though the topic is firearms, like, the topic of this is firearms... The, um, it doesn't really go into the whole, and maybe it will in the next two volumes, but essentially it doesn't really go in-depth with uh, how people carry themselves with weapons, like who has the right to have guns and who doesn't. Like, it doesn't really talk about, like, gun uh, like gun laws. It doesn't really talk about, like, that. Or, like that. And I understand, like, maybe um, G Williamson doesn't want to bring that up, but I was like, dude, you're talking about people who are getting forcefully, getting their, their guns that they paid for forcefully taken from them by a city and, more importantly, a company. You have to bring up gun laws if you're doing that as a story, if you're doing that as part of the story arc. So that's my only thing, but again, maybe they'll bring that up in the next two volumes, because like I said, this is a three-volume series. So maybe they will bring that up in the next uh, comic. Maybe they'll bring that up in the next comic. So, yeah, uh, I highly recommend this. Uh, artwork is great. This Williamson certainly knows how to, how, uh, how to write both Lewis and, you know, Officer Lewis and RoboCop, and every other character. So I, if you're a RoboCop fan... I highly recommend this series. But anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below. If you've read RoboCop Dead or Alive, just comment below, let us know. And once again, if you're new here, remember to Hulk smash that subscribe button and be a part of Earth's Maya subscribers. I'm DPZ, hope you all enjoyed this review, and we will see you right here once more in the universe.